everybody, this is Preeti. Welcome to another Stamp Along with Robin Necker. I'm using this beautiful poppy stamp set which was released recently. And I'm going to show you how I colored one of the poppy flowers and one of the leaves from the stamp set. And I've gone ahead and stamped it using a Copic friendly um, marker. I mean, sorry, uh, black ink, and I'm going to add some copy colors to it. So the color I've chosen for the darkest part of the color uh, of, the, of the flower is uh, R59, and I'm just laying it wherever there would be a shadow for this flower. I'm also taking advantage of the artist drawn lines of these flowers. These flowers do have some beautifully um, stamped, uh, what do you call, shadowed shadows area for the flower where you can add the darkest colors so i'm following those lines and then i'm blending the r89 with r45 and r45 with r24 and then r22 and r double uh, zero now this is r22 so i'm just blending it from both sides um i'm, at, I'm just flicking them i'm not really scrubbing over the colors and flicking because I want to show those uh, uh, those, um, um, those textures on the petals and that's why I'm just flicking the colors and then I ended it with R00. For the leaves I kept it very very simple. I added um, G99 to the darkest color of the leaf in the center of the vein and the veins that come from either side of the center vein. And then I blended G99 with uh, um, YG67 um, I don't know if this YG, yes, YG67, and then I blended that with uh, YG017 and then YG03. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember the colors I've used, but I'll make sure to add those colors down in the description box below so you know the colors that I've used, uh, what colors I've used exactly for these, um, for these uh, leaves. And then YG, uh, this is YG17, and after I'm done with YG17, I'm just going to go over it with YG, I think it's 11 or, or 3, but I'll make sure that I put the colors at the bottom. But I kept the coloring very, very simple. And then I went ahead and die cut the flowers and fussy cut the leaves uh, for these images. Now for the background, where we want to do the gold foiling, which is the whole idea of this uh, video, is to show you how to do simple gold foiling on your cards, even if you don't have a foiling machine. So mainly if you don't have a foiling machine, this is a good way to do some gold foiling to add some extra texture or interest to your card. So here I've taken a watercolor cardstock, and I've chosen a few... Um, watercolors from the Ken Oliver watercolor set and I'm just uh, adding it onto a very saturated paper so you've seen me adding paper at the beginning and then I'm just dropping the color and then I'm sopping up anything that is too heavy or extra so I'm just going to keep building this color and as I come down I'm going to try to fade it away to the white so I don't want to go all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to just heat set this uh, panel and I'm going to keep layering colors as long as I am set as as uh, how, however much I need until I'm satisfied with the colors that is on the background. So here you can see now I'm all done and I'm just heat setting it and see how it's faded out to the bottom and that's what I wanted. Now I'm taking this embossing ink here, this is the VersaFine embossing ink and I'm just going to uh, drag it from the top to the bottom and I'm just going to lift it as I'm dragging. So I'm not just, like I'm not dragging in down at the same pressure but I'm just putting heavy pressure on the top and then lifting it as I come, uh, come below. I hope it makes sense. And then I'm going to add this heat and stick bond paper. I mean, not paper, uh, st uh, uh, powder. It's like an embossing powder where you heat it and then you add the element on it and then that sticks to that embossing powder and then you can heat set it once more. So here I've added that and I just took a brush and kind of um, clean, not really cleaned up. I wanted the edges to be a little jaggedy. And then I took this gold foil and started laying it on the places where I'm melting the embossing uh, powder. Now you can see that the gold foil really doesn't adhere all the way flat and that's what we need. That's what I wanted. I want it to be um, sparse, you know. I didn't want it to be a solid gold 
foil background there but just just parts and places the blue picking out and then the gold just adding enough detail and texture and here you can see i'm using the heat gun to go over it so it adheres to the the gold foil adheres to that embossing powder and i'm going to keep repeating it uh, and what i wanted is a little bit more gold so what i did is i went over this uh piece once more with my embossing pad you'll see in a minute here yeah, i'll do that again so i'm just uh, adding this foil once more here and then i am going to repeat that once more you can leave it right here if you want to but you can always go ahead and add some more embossing powder if you wanted more gold and i wanted a little more gold to this um, background so i just went ahead and did the same thing again melted the embossing powder and i'm going to lay this gold foil this gold foil sheet i've used it so many times i've been using it for a long time you can see there are a lot of patches of gold but there's still a long way and it's perfect for these kind of projects where i can like you know choose where i want to put it in order to do some foiling and now you can see how beautiful that background with blue and gold looks oh my goodness i was just loving the way this whole project was turning out and now with all that done I'm going to finish off this card. Uh, I'm just going to take those flowers that I had colored and die cut earlier and I'm going to put one cluster of this flower from the top uh, right corner of this cardstock and I'm just going to lay it there and I'm going to adhere that using some foam tapes. Now I want to add some uh, sentiment and for the sentiment I'm using the um, okay before I add the sentiment I'm just going to add some foam tapes uh, behind the uh, the flowers so that I can adhere them on the top I had not yet done that but anyway I'm just adding the leaves and the flowers to the top edge there and after I was done with this it was time to go for the sentiment and I used this best friend sentiment and I chose this uh, sentiment right on the top here and I want to make sure that I'm placing the sentiment in the right place and one of the takes tricks that i use for that is i just lay my um cardstock uh, onto my misty and then i put the sentiment uh sheet directly on it so i know where exactly that sentiment is and how it will look on my cardstock and then place the um sentiment on it and then on that and have the misty pick it up but where i had placed it was not a good place uh suddenly i got a little brainy and i moved it up <laughs> upwards so there was more space for the sentiment to sit so i can easily lift it using my dough of the misty and then i just stamped it using a black um uh, black ink then i just added a few more gold embellishments just some gold sequins uh scattering here and there and then put that over a top folding white note card um i did add um foam adhesive to the back of this just because i don't want it to there was a lot of warping in that watercolor paper because we had added watercolor so that foam adhesive will actually hold this uh base of this um the top of the card easily and here's the finished look of that card i want to show you another simple way of creating uh, a foil background uh, this time i am first i'm going to lay the um the stems for the poppies um so i'm just going to and i wanted the stems and the leaves to be directly stamped onto my card base so i'm just going to place the flowers where i would like them to be and then i'm going to place the leaf um, not the leaves the stems uh coming out of these flowers that way it's easier for me to know where to stamp so there you go i've gone ahead and stamped that using black ink uh in the same way i'm going to use the leaves too so i'm just going to here's the last stem for this little flower here and i'm just uh going to stamp that as well they they see that and then i'm going to add leaves and for the leaves as well i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to place the flowers first and then i'm going to place the leaves as to where i would like them to be stamped and just before stamping i, I make sure that i remove the leaf flowers but here yeah, i did not but you may want to make sure that you take your flowers off the <laughs> paper just just in case you stamp it after all the hard work you've done you don't want to stamp it with your black ink anyway and then there are also some buds in this uh, stamp set so i'm just going to add that above that flower and then i'm going to color them exactly the way i colored 
previously and then after I was done coloring before I add the flowers I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm just I'm going to score it at every half inch so at every half inch you just add a score line and it's okay if you go over the the leaves and the stems it doesn't matter and I'll show you as we move forward and then I'm going to take this glue pen this is a deco foil glue pen but you can actually use any liquid glue pen that you may have in your stash and it'll work absolutely fine and all I'm doing is I'm laying this glue pen heavily where I've added that score line so there will be the indentations uh, created because of the score lines and so the glue pen will only slide over it and it won't go on the glue won't go in the in inside where the embossed area is but on the top part of it and that's what you want it to kind of add some texture and then I'm going to heat set the glue a little bit and you just want the glue to be tacky and then once it's tacky I'm going to start adding gold foil once more and I I can see that my glue is not completely dry here and that's why it's taking some um, a couple of times for me to do that once the glue is dried not ex absolutely dried but tacky enough the gold foil will stick to it beautifully and it it just created this very um, organic but very rustic background so those lines <laughs> those lines are not really straight but they the kind of uh, are at equidistance so it I, I just loved it it's like gold planks behind the those flowers and all there's left to do is to add these flowers and I just added them using some foam tape and then I'm also taking this peony set and I, all I want is the sentiment from that sorry about that I did uh, stamp and dye uh, the emboss the sentiment on a black cardstock which says uh, thank you and then I, for the inside of the card I'm just adding a white panel so that it's easier for you to write a message to your friend now all you do is just add that extra flower underneath in the bottom part of that uh, card and then just add the additional sentiment which reads you are the best so it's going to say thank you you are the best and here is the finished look of that card I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you some ideas to create some gold foiling for your backgrounds for your next project and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe to our channel and I will see you next time bye bye